What's up, Brian? Not a whole lot. What's up with you? I like the double time with the glasses. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's been a... The sunglasses and the long. reading glasses and the hat. <laughs> long, hot day. Well, no, this is just the sunglasses to the, the prescription sunglasses to the replacement of these. I've been outside all day trying to get a tan on my new beard coming in. How was, how was, uh, how was your 4th of July? It was good. It was do real we, good. Uh, we have we all 10. Stayed here. We do have all 10. All of them. Oh, all there right. we go. We're good. Yep. Successful for the yeah. Well, my son is eight. My daughter's 12. So this was their year to light off the majority of the fireworks. Oh, nice. So all I did, mama picked out what we were going to fire off and, uh, I found the wick for them and ran the flashlight so they could find it, and they did the lighting off. So nice. Now, are like it was the, can the I, fireworks that pop in the air are those legal? No, everything's legal here, except for bottle rockets, which we won't yeah. mention those. Yeah. So yeah, you're pretty. <laughs> you're pretty much a free. Yeah. Um, we've we have had fireworks restrictions before. It all depends on how dry we are dry or wet we are so we had some rain earlier in the week which kind of dampened everything down and i had my water trailer set up just in case we were anyways. we were fully illegal but we went fully illegal <laughs> I, I saw somebody's uh so did video today from us. <laughs> yeah. they were on a balcony like way up and they were like yeah this is uh los angeles as they panned across illegal yeah. fireworks and there's just displays going up all over it was pretty yeah we got told we couldn't have public displays so we went okay we'll do it ourselves have our own and everybody did it was great yeah you know i kind of went back about 40 years because i used to mow grass for firework money i bought my first bike mowing grass and everything and uh i had one neighbor ask if i could mow their field <laughs> basically their five acres and then another neighbor followed on with that. And another neighbor followed on with that. So I spent Thursday and Friday mowing 15 acres. And, and you used uh, all the money for fireworks. <laughs> paid, paid for my fireworks. So when we did the when we did the uh, the 19 shot parachute, I invited the kids over. So you guys chase them. We had a little breeze going, so they they ended up on the a ways away, about 100 yards away. Shot parachute. What is that? Oh, dude, it's awesome. It's uh, it's all parachutes. Some of them got smoke coming out of it. They got red, white, and blue, green, yellow parachutes, and it's 19 shot. You just light it, and it just, and then but what's the parachute? parachute starts going. The parachute is the, the parachute coming down from the, the air. It's got a little weight on it, and then it floats back down to earth. Oh. It's pretty cool. That, yeah. We didn't have shit like that. <laughs> next next fourth of july dude apparently you need to <laughs> i may have so you know i took a motor home to texas yeah may have stopped along the way not really this is recorded and going on youtube but <laughs> there was a lot of fireworks shops on my route yes there are yeah <laughs> hate when that yeah. happens but uh we got a really good episode today we're going to talk we about do. the Christmas Summit. And then yeah. hopefully everybody that uh, is watching this watched the video last night I posted about the Holiday Illumination Awards. I know it's confusing. They're from 2019. This was supposed to happen earlier in the year, but somebody got the COVID and it got all crazy. So As the, as the crazy year has. So it's happening in July. So don't get confused and. Vendors, don't feel bad if you're not on there because 2019 Christmas, you weren't a vendor. <laughs> so you're not on there. <laughs> That's just what it is. So last year, this year's, we, this hope, hopefully will be an annual thing. Hopefully it goes over really well. And, you know, and if you guys want to be on the board next year, let me know. We could put pe uh, more people on the board or swap some people out, whatever. It's totally for the community and community based and community voted and it's just for fun. Like 
people get real trophies. These vendors could put them up in their shops. These, these guys that do sequences for themselves could put it up in their office, you know, like it's just a cool little thing. These rookie of the years could have a trophy from their like first year. So it's just for fun. Nobody should have hard feelings. If you are a veteran vendor and you're not on the list, I am sorry. We overlooked you and we didn't do that on purpose in any way. Just shoot me an email and I'll make sure you never miss it again. So that's come that I hope you watch the video. If not, go watch it. It's on the Think Tank and X Lights group and probably Chris, Christmas Mafia and everywhere. Depends on how spammy I want to get with it. I, yeah, I don't even I don't, I don't even think I've seen it yet cuz uh well we're recording this before so. I post it, so <laughs> You haven't Ooh, seen it yet, well, Brian. I <laughs> definitely have seen it by then. <laughs> right after this recording, it's getting posted. <laughs> you gotta, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Just so cut that, cut that out. Yeah, <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be a good episode. It ought to be. Yeah, we uh, we got some special guests that had put their. Uh, I want to say blood, sweat, and tears into setting this virtual 2020 virtual Christmas seven up. So it ought to be pretty interesting. So we got Thank the heavy you, hitters from it. So Thank you, Brian, for all your What's hard that? work. I know you've oh, been busy no with problem. this too. A little bit. Is that a Bass Pro Shop shirt? It is, actually. It's very is. American. Very. Yeah, American flag, Bass Pro Shop, post, fish on it. For, yeah, my wife had uh, Cabela's on yesterday with uh, with the American flag. And so I yeah, had a, a little I bit. Had a very fancy um, Mount Rushmore t shirt. That was cool. I did see pictures oh, of that. Thank you, both you and Cecilia. Yeah. Yep. Some pretty cool shirts. That's from Tipsy Elf. You know where I get my Christmas suits. Also make Fourth of July clothing. Oh, cool! You see my new cup. Yeah, your cup's pretty awesome. That, and then this is the one I actually should be drinking out of right now. Come on, turn it, turn it. I'm turning, I'm turning. Oh, that's pretty sweet. There we go. That's really cool. Yeah. So Very she's cool. gonna make me two more. So did you send the link? I'm ready to hit post. Post? Post what? Or oh, did send. we not send a link to the people? I, I got it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I had it all ready to go. I didn't know when you wanted me to send it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we didn't even send the link to our guest. That's perfect. Yeah. Perfect timing. They're, they're on ready standby. I yeah. need to figure out where I'm going to put that. There we go. I should put it on my shelf behind me and then turn. Yeah, off but you that. can't see it. I know. With the green screen, <sighs> this one showed up really well. Yeah. So. No, I mean if you put it on the shelf. Yeah, I won't see it. You have to do like I did and put green on the wall, and then put the stuff on the green. Well, I have green, but. No, but like no, I'm not. Gordon's pictures on my green wall. Yeah. With your that filing one. cabinet and your candy cane. A fireball. Boy, you're really tearing into them, aren't you? I'm not, really. <laughs> you know why? Because I'd rather just go get the bottle out of the freezer than just <laughs> get a warm one out of this candy cane that's in the garage. This is like you know, the many, emergency reserve. Many ones freeze, too, you know. I know, but then I have to put all those in the freezer. The Pixel Pro Display Sequence Club is the only club that pays for itself. Here are just some of the benefits of becoming a member. Each month, you will receive a free, original sequence programmed by the pros at PPD to take your display to the next level. Access to weekly x Lights effects presets, which you can use in your own sequences or modify to create your own unique effects library. Access to the PPD affiliate discount program, getting up to 15% off or more from over a dozen of our PPD partners. So visit us on the web today at pixelprodisplays.com and also find us on Facebook at Pixel Pro University. Pixel Pro Displays. What can Pixel Pro displays do for you? 
Hi, this is Blinky, broadcasting almost live from the Boscoyo Broadcast Studios. You're listening to the second season of the Professional Tires Podcast. Oh, yeah! Remember to like us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube and Apple Podcasts. And now here are your hosts, the Professional Tires. Hey, this is Brian, and uh, I know you're expecting JR, but <laughs> he kind of gave me the lead on this. We're, uh, we've got a special Professional Tires. we got Ed Smith, Russell McFarland, Tony Bigda, and of course... Mr. Handsome up there, JR up in the corner. Uh, we're going to talk about the 2020 Virtual Christmas Summit that is coming up in, do I dare say, just under two weeks, a day shy of two weeks. So yep. we are all busting our rump on it. We got a lot of stuff going on, a ton of classes, but I am going to give it over to Mr. Ed Smith and let you kind of talk about it since you were the the mastermind behind all this. Thanks, Brian, I appreciate it. So uh, July 18th and 19th, we're holding the first ever 2020 Virtual Christmas Summit. Um, this will be a Christmas educational conference held via Zoom, and there will be eight different Zoom rooms going on all simultaneously. So a lot of folks this past year uh, didn't have the opportunity to go to Christmas Expo or Trans World or uh, a lot of the minis across the country. And so they missed out on a great uh, educational opportunities at all of those events. So we recognized a need in the community to put on an event, which basically you could be quarantined, you didn't have to leave your house, and uh, you still got that same quality education that you would get at all these other events. So uh, I assembled uh, a team of good friends in the community uh, almost 15 of us together that have been working for over a month now to uh, put together what we think is going to be the premier educational event uh, that's been had in the community. So uh, registration opened this past week, as Brian said. So uh, we have a website, uh, virtualchristmassummit.com. And on the uh, website, it has all of the information about the event from the class schedule to the sponsors, to the um, build party events that we're having, as well as um, a first for us, a great Christmas light fight panel uh, from the 2019 contestants. We have five families that are gonna be represented on there. And at the end of the uh, panel, there'll be an opportunity if you want to uh, throw your name in the hat for the 2021 taping, there's an opportunity for you to register for that as well. So it's gonna be a great event, a lot of opportunities. We uh, opened registration four days ago and we're over 475 registered so far for the event. So um, not nice. sure what else more to tell you, Brian, but uh, things are in line and things are moving forward, so. Well, that's awesome. I'm sitting here writing down questions and you're kind of answering them as you're going. So that was awesome. That's right. So. So I was going to start with how did you come up with the, the team to, to do that, but you just kind of. Yeah, I mean, over the years, a lot of out. us. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of us in the community that kind of uh, have uh, volunteered our times in a lot of different ways. So when we've gotten to know each other uh, over the years, so uh, uh, I reach out to guys that are reliable, dependable, and we'll pull together. So. Uh, all of them have and then we you know networked with those that we know that are presenters in the community that have done a great job presenting over the past couple of years either at a mini or a christmas expo trans world or even at x essentials so we pulled in the different uh, presenters for that we've got over 60 hours of education um, we have 10 hours plus of lore education so some of the lore developers, uh, Brian uh, Bruder, who is the superstar creator, Drew Hickman, uh, Scooter Pascal, uh, Aubrey Call, uh, Darren Hufty, all lore folks that provide a top-notch uh, education for our friends over in lore, as well as, um, so each of, just to explain, each of the different Zoom rooms kind of has a different theme associated with it. So there's a beginner Zoom room, a miscellaneous topics, a sequencing topics, 
So in the sequencing topics, uh, I think we've had eight different sequencers that are all gonna present slightly different style on that. Uh, we have a vendor room. So uh, the vendors that sponsor the uh, event and give all the raffle prizes will be in that, as well as for the build party, uh, we have 10 different build projects going on. So I'll, I'll let different folks touch on a lot of those different topics, but uh, pretty well organized, uh, a, a quick moving event because it's only on two days. It's on Friday, Saturday, um, July 18th and 19th. So Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, Saturday Sunday. Is that yep, what I yep. said? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Saturday, <laughs> Sunday. Saturday, Sunday. So, before you guys go into more detail about it, I want to thank – all of you for doing this because the community really needed something like this this year and for you guys to put this all together in such a short time and i think it's going to be super successful and very useful for tons of new people and stuff and i really appreciate you guys doing this for the community i think it's a great project and it's going to you know this could be something we do in the future too so i think this is awesome yeah thanks hey, Welcome. Yeah, it's been a true team effort. Uh, Ed's done a great job pulling a lot of people together. And, um, you know, there's different committees within this that have focused on education, that have focused on vendors, that have fo focused on building, uh, logistics. And so it's been a, a true rally um, behind a lot of different folks. And, too, a lot of the presenters, if you look at the schedule, it's top-notch guys. I mean, you've got basically all the X-Lights developers. Uh, like, you know, you're learning from the guys that wrote the software. Uh, like Ed said, you're writing, you're learning from most every professional sequencer that's out there. Uh, they're donating their time and their knowledge. Um, a lot of the who's who uh, in the community who, are, you know, subject matter experts are lending their time and their energy to this. So uh, we're really excited. Carl and Sam Sorry, Rob Tony, go were, ahead. <laughs> were, the, were the ones that, that set the schedule and got all these great guys to present and all these topics and they did a fantastic job uh putting that together uh all the way from keith to uh like all of all the sequencers and everybody so i mean it really was a a, a big effort from everybody even jr did the logo for us with the toilet paper tree so yeah <laughs> thought that'd be fun <laughs> it, it really that was the, awesome. it really was perfect yeah. captured the moment definitely We've got Jordan you know, doing the promo videos and mm -hmm. Ken at Wired Watts did the website for us. And, you know, so everybody has really pitched in and, and has a different set of talents that we could all rely upon. So all been good. You know, I'm going to throw this out there because, and I know this is your baby Ed and everything, but I think the most important person on the call right now is Russell McFarland because he has, busted his tail to get a ton i mean a ton of prizes from vendors across everything that that we go to i mean probably all on our favorites list but russell has reached out and and just got a bunch of prizes for well, almost every class i think is it yeah, you want to touch we, on it? that's yeah that's our goal is to give away a raffle prize in every class and that way, you know, folks can come in and they can, you know, we've got a system that will come out in the email where you get registered and um, you register for the raffle and that's going to be held in each class. Uh, we've really had great vendor support. So we've got over 30 of our vendors across the community that have given generously to this thing. Uh, it's really exciting. So, um, you know, we've got, I'll have to get a, t a, a total, but we've got uh, thousands of dollars worth of prizes to give away. And it's something really, the vendors love this community. Um, you know, we've kind of put a call out there and we, we you know, contacted some, but I've even had vendors, a lot of vendors approach us and say, hey, I love the community. I love what's happening. I want to give something. And that's really neat. So you've got a lot of vendors that are engaged and um, they want to come out there and give back. And they also want to, you know, give their resources and time and, and talents to, to present as well. So that's going to be really cool. We're excited about that. And they all have their own or a separate room that we can allot them time yep. uh, in 30 or an hour increments. So if, if you're a vendor out there listening and you haven't been in touch with Russell yet, give him a shout and we'll put you down and you got the spotlight for, um, I think it was up to an hour, wasn't it? it was... That's right. Uh, it depends on, you know, the, the scheduling we've got. 
I've got vendors that want to demo new products and new product releases. I've got a guy that's filing for a patent right now on something that's pretty cool. Uh, he wants to go out there and kind of release it at the, uh, at the mini. Um, we've got some vendors that are doing new product lines and they want to release that. So we've got a lot of cool stuff. Yep. Oh, sorry. That's, I guess that's me. I was waiting for Jay. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not used sorry. to this role, dude. Brian's not used to being the main guy about this, but go ahead, Brian. Do I, do I need to like prompt you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you want me to touch on? So I'm going to jump to the build parties then. Cause that's what I've been involved with. Um, we have, uh, Tony, which is on here. He could talk about his, his fan in a sec, but we're doing the, the big to fan. Uh, Keith is going to do the push button speaker. I, that was very cool that he did last year. So he put the parts list together and everything. Uh, he's also doing an animatronics for us. Uh, he had one of his seeing faces that, went back and forth as it's saying. So that's pretty sweet. Um, we're going to have a couple of controller builds. I'm going to do <laughs> a star flake spinner. Uh, please check the website for, for that. And uh, I, I built the model. I got all the sub models that I would think it would need uh, already created, already built. So I got that file. So if anybody wants to join me on that, we'll, We'll have some fun, and it can be pretty much any size that you want it to be. I think the one for the specs that I'm going to be doing, I think, was six foot or five eight. Ed, I, yeah, remember? I think it's six. I think it's six I foot. So. But I've seen people yeah. build them uh, even larger than that. So it's a fairly inexpensive, oh, yeah. uh, you know, build, and and looks great. And it's like you said, it's either a spinner, a star or uh, a snowflake. So it's got three different yeah. uh, props all built into one. So, but uh, yeah, it's pretty yeah. sweet. I was, I was pretty excited yeah. when you showed me that. I'm like, what? <laughs> so well, that was pretty I, cool. I, I can't take any credit for the ideas up on the DIY forum. And, you know, as we uh, all have, we have these different projects we want to do each year and you kind of put them off from year to year. And so that's a project I've wanted to do for probably two years now. And so I'm kind of excited to uh, to do that with you, Brian. I, I will. Uh, I'm going to be in that class. So looking forward to that. Uh oh, oh man, there it goes. The, <laughs> the boss is going to watch your class. <laughs> <Be careful. laughs> I better make that sucker tomorrow, then. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm going to do my fans. There was a lot of uh, requests for it. Uh, I mean, I showed a lot of stuff online, but there was more requests, and I guess I can kind of go over the sequencing for it because I've gotten a lot of PMs and a lot of questions about how to do it. So that'll be the class for that. Great. Yeah, Great. I think by the time that I had asked you uh, if you would do the build for me, you already had three other people approach you. <laughs> or I was I the third? Fourth maybe? One, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's a very sought after. That's the hot new hot new one I think this year. So it's pretty so. sweet. Giving up on your your fan, Brian? No, no, Tony. If I and hey, I've, 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 been, uh, I've been helping him figure that it. one out. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Uh, I, I lowered the pixel count. I'm only going thirty high, thirty up, thirty down. So it's uh, nineteen hundred and forty eight, I huh. think now. And I have about eighty sub models for it. <laughs> Go be in next year's build. I was. Three. <laughs> yeah, I was I was putting David's uh, model builder to the test the other night, so it was bogging down a little bit. <laughs> so do you want to touch on any of the, I don't want to call them uh, the hot topics on the schedule, because they're all, I mean, they're all just as valuable as the other, and some run in to the others, yeah. so. Right. I mean, it just kind of depends on what, what each individual person's need is. So, you know, there's a different appeal. I mean, also there's an FPP room. And so folks, you know, needing help with FPP, I think there's 10 hours of FPP classes from uh, learning how to install, you know, the, the newest release version four. 
Uh, so you're going to image uh, that. That's going to be one of the build classes you have. So there's a beginner FPP and an advanced FPP. And then there's uh, something that I don't think I've ever seen done before is a scripts class with FPP. So they're going to actually go through all the different scripts in FPP and show you what they are and what you can do. So it, it's built into FPP, but nobody's you know, really, uh, I, I think, I don't think I've seen education on that one yet. So a uh, whole nother topic. So uh, a lot of great opportunities. Can we just touch on registration for a second in the process there? Yeah, so, of course, um, yeah, so registration is free. Uh, as we said, it doesn't cost anything. If you go to the virtual summit, I'm sorry, virtual Christmas summit.com. Uh, there's a registration link. You just click on it. You put your name, your email address on there. There's a short survey if you want to do it um, and you enter and uh, you'll be entered into it a, a couple days before the class schedule comes out. You'll receive an email at the email address that you provided and it will give you all of the links to all of the Zoom rooms as well as your user ID. So for the raffles that were going to be held, when you log into one of the rooms for a class, at the beginning of the class, the host is gonna basically take attendance as the class is going on and gonna put all of the people in that class in, in queue for the raffle. So uh, on your username for it, you should include your raffle, your uh, virtual Christmas summit ID number uh, on your username. So you can include your normal username and that number, but somewhere it, it needs to be shown on there. So. Uh, that way that's, will that's what's we'll, going to give you your raffle prize is your VC right entry. right so that's going to make you eligible so you're going to get an email um, and then that way you'll you'll be assigned a number and then that number for every class there will be prizes given away in every class uh, they're also going to be large the large prizes are going to be after the great Christmas light fight panel on Saturday night and also on Sunday I think at 4:30 uh, Eastern all the times here are Eastern. Um, there'll be a, a, all another set of uh, raffle prizes. So uh, registration is closing on Thursday night. Uh, I think that's the 16th at, mid, at midnight, so I guess 17th. Um, it, registration will close, so we need everybody to get registered prior to that so we can make sure that these emails go out and everybody's aware of the final class schedule as well as getting their you know, user ID. There'll be some uh, Zoom etiquette uh, rules going out. So um, we, you know, you wanna be muted during it. We don't want folks talking, you know, cross talking. There will be a Q and A session at the end of the presentation for folks that have questions. Um, so I think that pretty much covers everything that I've got, but uh, I don't know if you, you all have anything else to add. So yeah, I'm gonna, Go ahead, Russell. Go ahead. Uh, going back to the schedule, um, you know, I would just encourage everybody to go out to that website and look because as the schedule is being developed, it's not like, you know, we kind of threw stuff out there. We really sat down and did a lot of soul searching and said, hey, what are the most commonly asked questions? What are the, you know, the pain points? What are the hot topics? And, um, you know, what questions do we hear over and over? So and it's got a great, yeah. uh, we've got a great amount of content tailored to that, you know, in between, like Ed said, a lot of FPP stuff. X schedule, a lot of sequencing stuff, all the different controllers from, you know, the ESP sticks, Alpha Picks, uh, Falcon, you know, we've got it all covered. Uh, we've got everything down. I'm doing as a class on securing your display and doing physical security stuff, um, you know, mapping sequences, everything you can think of that's really a, a commonly asked question, that real thirst for knowledge out there is probably covered here and it's probably covered by a subject matter expert. So and I'm going to ask you guys. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm going to ask you guys the same question I asked the panel we had for Expo, um, Trans World, same question. What classes are you guys taking? I'll start with Russell first. What classes are you taking? Let's see. Yeah, that's, that was, uh, there's a lot that I want to take. Um, I'll probably go to the uh, x Lights 3D class being taught by Gil, who was the, uh, Kind of the the main developer behind X Lights 3D, and that's uh, something I haven't really branched into yet. So I'm excited about that. 
Uh, I want to hear Keith talk about Keith Wesley talk about X schedule because once again you're learning from the guy that wrote the software. Um, so I do basic X schedule to run my show, but he's going in having a specific advanced class. It's an hour of education based on the advanced features of X schedule. Uh, I want to do that. I want to learn more about cult boards. I'm probably going to take that from Dan Culp, who is the uh, developer behind all that and the uh, manufacturer behind all that. Um, that's something I'm a Falcon guy, but I'd love to hear that side, um, you know, and that controller technology and learn more about that. So um, those are some of the high points I want to hit. What about you, Tony? Well, I'll be at the big to fan class, obviously, because I'll be teaching it. I heard you're a big uh, fan of that one. Huh? I heard you're a big fan of that one. Yeah. <laughs> I did like your McFly fan idea, though. I did like that. I thought that was better because uh, it's not really the original idea. But yeah, It's not the Marty fan anymore. Like, it's the McFly fan. <laughs> yeah. I want to see uh, Keith, because what's awesome is, is this is – uh, a U.S. time uh, thing, and we have people from outside the U.S. teaching classes, like in the middle of the night, which is really awesome that they're willing to do that. So I want to see Keith. Um, I can't go to Gills because it's at the same time as mine. Uh, I'm going to go to the Great Christmas Light Fight panel because um, I want to see Greg and those guys talk about their experience on the show, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I'm not sure what else I'm going to do yet. What about you, Ed? I know you're going to Brian's class. So I'm going to Brian's build party. So uh, that's number one. Uh, anything with Tom Beck, George. I know Tom's teaching two classes. Um, I think one's on filming your display, which uh, I always seem to have an issue that I can't film my display. It's either too bright or there's an issue. And uh, Tom is an expert, uh, you know, with over 100 million YouTube views, he's got that kind of down to a science. So classes uh, definitely, are always fun too. Yeah, he's yeah. he's a great, he's a great, <laughs> great educator. So uh, I, I'm going to go to that, and then uh, probably a sequencing class or two. Both uh, Clyde and uh, Ron Howard both uh, have have great uh, great classes going on there. Um, and then probably a mega tree build. I'm, I'm going to redo my mega tree this year. So I know we have a class on, uh, on mega tree. So if I can, uh, hopefully, uh, squeeze that in, uh, that will be, uh, one that I'm going to go to as well. So nice. Ryan. Man, I am scanning the board. <laughs> so, you know, I did want to mention something else, you know, you mentioned international. So. Uh, so far, we have 40 people from outside the U.S. that have signed up for the conference. So it's it's great to see we you know we have folks Australia of course, but you know United Kingdom, Ireland, Trinidad and Tobago, Egypt or no India, um, and I think someone in Germany. So uh, we we have quite a few as well as Canada. So of course. But uh, all our international friends, uh, all the classes will be in English, but everybody's welcome to, uh, to attend as well. Very cool. We're going to let Brian Very off the cool. hook for not knowing what classes. Oh, you're going to let Brian off the hook? Yeah. You know, well, I did want right. to do. He's the host tonight. So. Basics, if, it's, so. if it's not on a notepad in front of him, he doesn't know the answer. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I should Should've have wrote him down because I would have been like. <laughs> No, there's yeah. quite a few. I think I'm going to jump in and out. Um, I'm going to steal one of my kids' laptop, I think, and and put that off to the side along with my phone. And I'm going to jump into just different rooms and catch. I like the big one that I do want to hear is Colt Boards because mine shows up tomorrow. So <laughs> I better figure I better learn something about it. I think I got a basic idea, but there, there, there's so many. It's hard to choose which ones you want to, you know, really bear down and pay attention to. Um, so I'm going to try to catch as much as I can with along being in, you know, roommate and, and running that. So, yeah, it's a hard choice as you look across the schedule. I mean, there's multiple <laughs> slots where you're like, man, I, you know, I wish I could catch multiple. So I, I think that speaks to the quality of the, of the program and the education because you do, you look through some of this and it's a hard choice to make uh, in between some of these time, time slots. So it'll be yeah. interesting. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. It, it's going to be a busy weekend. I gave the wife a heads up a couple of weeks ago, like, this weekend, don't bother me. <laughs> so put a lock on the man cave and so we can 
get it knocked out, I guess. So it's going to be awesome. I'm excited for it. I am going to be participating from my cell phone because I am still going to Vegas for my mom's retirement party that she planned since I was going to Vegas for Expo. So I still got to go to Vegas. So I will be on my phone in and out, hopefully catching as much as I can. But I have, I have no set plan because I have no clue how Vegas is going to go. And I promise not to be the drunk guy yelling in the back classes. <laughs> maybe, maybe in Tony and Brian's, but that would just be fun. Awesome. <laughs> He's Except, uh, camera. It would Can't be what, sleep. like eight o'clock in the morning during my class or something. Oh, I'll be sleeping. Sorry. Be pretty close. <laughs> be pretty close to that, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, something like that. <clears throat> oh, I had something too, and I forgot what I was going to say because I didn't write it down. <sighs> you guys yeah, want to talk any... about the Great Christmas Light Fight panel? Yeah. yeah fire away. So uh, we've got Kristen Moss and Felicia White and AJ Rochester coming. Um, and they're going to have the, usually they have the panel at Expo. And they were going to have one at Transworld this year also, but they both got canceled. So real quick, because so, people who don't know, t tell us who those people are. Oh, uh, well, Felicia White is the executive producer of Light Fight, along with... Uh, Oh crap! I can't think of his name. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna be mad at me when I when I don't know his name. But uh, oh Brady Brady Connell, he's the other executive producer. And then Kristen Moss is probably the person that's hitting you up in your private messages, bothering the crap out of you for six months. She is the casting a head of casting. So she is the head of all the casting people. Casting director. Casting director. <laughs> And and then AJ is the other uh, casting person that works with her in, in conjunction with a few other people. But those are the two mains. And uh, and then they're going to be talking to uh, the Brewster family, the Howard family, the Torres family, the Maywalds, and who's her family? I can't remember now. Mm -hmm. But we have five families uh, on the show, so that should be neat. Um, and we have two winners on the show. Uh, the Torres and the Maywalds both won last year, so that should be something neat. Are they going to explain how David Peace ended up with their pirate ship? I don't know. I guess that, that's a good question. We could ask them that. <laughs> I, I know he's got a new, bigger plan that he's working yes. on. It's supposed to outdo the pirate ship. It is. Yeah. It sounds pretty awesome. I don't want to give it away because it's it's something that he doesn't want to talk about, but it's I've heard about it. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. So looking forward to seeing it. It's gonna be cool. So is there anything else super important that you guys want to share? Just Not get here. on that sign up. Twenty twenty Christmas virtual or virtual Christmas summit. Get signed up. Let us know how many we're going to have, how many guests we're going to have, uh, basically for the room sizes. So, yeah. We're, and if you are doing a, a build uh, project, make sure you order the parts or have everything set aside. So you need to look at that ASAP. You know, you just don't want to look at that a couple days out because some of the parts you, you might not have uh, at your house. So look at the, uh, the parts list on the website. So. Should have been something I said. What were you going to say, Russell? <laughs> oh, no, I'm just saying we're really excited. It's a great opportunity. We love the community. And and like I said, it's very rare that you'd have you know, this much content, this much education. It's free. It's out there. You've got top-notch people presenting it and uh, something that everybody should take advantage of. And also, it's a, it's a good time to learn kind of some of your fellow lighters and some of your fellow um, subject matter experts. There's going to be a social hour kind of built in after hours. And um, it's a good time to kind of learn and come and ask questions and, and learn from each other and make some new uh, relationships. Yeah, because that's the best part about these events, actually, isn't actually the learning. It's usually the networking and the meeting people and getting to know people other than the name behind the, you know, the picture on the, on the computer. It's cool to, to actually interact and be able to talk to people. Yeah, it's going to be a great experience for everybody. I'm excited for it. It's going to be cool. And I, I thank you guys again 
for making this happen. I think it's really needed for the community. And then also Sunday night, right? We got the Holiday Illumination Awards. That is not affiliated with the summit, but it is airing right after the summit ends. Then you have the Illumination Awards that was supposed to happen earlier in the year, which I think is, we'll see how that goes. Why don't you tell us what that is? Um, there's a video that came, got posted last night that says it all. And I talked about it before the show a little bit, but it's just, it's 2019 Christmas season awards. So like there's vendors that exist now that didn't exist then. And it's not favoritism or anything like that. It's just, this was last Christmas season. This was supposed to be done earlier in the year, but there's, there's really some cool categories. There's a special award that nobody's going to know about until it, happens and that's going to be a yearly thing hopefully from now on out and then uh we got a really cool board and the board is open for anybody else who wants to be on it in the future send me a message um i don't know is there anything else i i, I don't want to like steal your guys's show like something after the fact so we'll keep talking yeah. about your summit <laughs> i think we've covered all the highlights you know, and it, it's all about the community. I mean, it's, this is the, I mean, hell, we love Christmas. We like playing with lights. So, I mean, we're a, a special group of people. So, you know, it's it's just awesome. Anything and everything that we can do to help the community within the community, you know, to me, makes it all worth it. You know, if it's just somebody posting hey i don't have a model to this i'm like oh i can make that for you in like five minutes and i even did some models for him and sent it off i'm like hey there's your pm so you know and that's what it's all about it's it's helping each other out you know and i, I know i've said that before so the the more oh what's the pay it forward that's what i'm trying to think of so you know i got a ton of help when i was starting out and and sitting in on the the existential calls, just the the little guy in the background, you know, just listening to each person's thing, and like, oh, that might be important. That might happen to me, and then I'll be a few days later. I'm like, oh, they just talked about this. So you know, it's everything for the community, so, and that's what makes it all all worth it. Yeah, it's nice to have that that contact too. Like you meet somebody, go, hey man, that guy's cool. He knows this. It's nice to have that contact in your phone saying, hey, I'm in the yard. Call the person up on the phone. Hey, what about this? And they talk you over on the phone. It's nice to have that instead of trying to figure it out on your own. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think we've all been on both ends of those phone calls, both yeah, the, uh, asking like, and receiving. So I might be you know, blocked by some people, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they shouldn't hold a light fight set up. You they shouldn't hold you accountable for that. Oh yeah, I understand. The Nobody has hold me accountable for that at all. <laughs> they all understand those panic phone calls night before. Oh yeah, hour before. Yeah. And how come four different people called me? <laughs> yeah. So cool. thank you guys again. This was a great episode. I hope. This answers a lot of questions for people and get signed up. It's going to be great. Even Thanks for having us like, on. Let's explain it. Yep. Thank yeah, you. Definitely. Ed, throw out that yeah. email, that uh, website one more time. It's all screwed up. Virtualchristmassummit.com. So. I'll put it in the comments too. So it's get like registered. There. Great. Appreciate yeah, it. Get, Thank you guys. Get registered. Awesome. Yeah. Register awesome. so you can win some prizes and come see some great classes and uh, talk to some cool people. And yep. I'm, I think I'm right about this, but like, if you can't attend the whole event, still get registered and do what you can in case you're busy, like mm -hmm. get registered, even if you're not available those full two days to do the event, but you are available maybe the evening time to do a couple classes or something like that. So get registered to take advantage of when you do have time. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely. Cool. So thank you guys for being on the show. Really appreciate it. And thanks uh, for putting up with us. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks guys.
Once again, the, the Professional, Professional Triers Holiday, Holiday Lighting, Lighting Show, Show has raised the bar, teaming up with another awesome sponsor, Zazzle, Zazzle. to provide you, our VIP listeners, with some cool, awesome, one-of-a-kind Professional, Professional Triers gear, gear, including the Hot or Not shot glass, the Blinky Flashy Lowdown Notebook, the Professional Triers Blinky Gear Beer Stein, the ever-so-popular David Peace Not a Vendor T-shirt, the must-have Robert Petty Make Rob Great Again T-shirt, the one-of-a-kind George Nash. Do you like my decorations? T-shirt. And of course, the must-have Professional Triers Blinky T-shirt and much, much more. You can even create your own one-of-a-kind Professional Triers gear. So go to Trierswag.com. That's T-R-I-E-R-S-S-W-A-G.com and get your Professional Triers gear today. <laughs> 